Okay, so what did city planners know, and how long have they known that it, there could have been some instability? Now, that's a question many residents are asking. And they're frustrated they were not warned sooner. In fact, the people whose home was destroyed, they were there when the hill came down. Amy Nay has that part of the story for us now. She is live in North Salt Lake. Well, Rod and Mary, City Manager Barry Edwards talked to 2 News one-on-one -on -one earlier today, and he did admit that they knew that something wasn't quite right here on this hillside months and months ago. Now, let me give you some perspective where we're standing. At the very bottom of Parkway Drive, and you did hear those officials say they are draining pools where here comes all the water rushing down this roadway. Uh, you can see it's uh, from the pool. You can smell it, at least, from our vantage point. Chlorinated water rushing down. We're just below where the country club is up above, and and you can see that the tents surrounding those tennis courts up there are starting to really cave in, making all the residents here in this area pretty nervous. You see the crews on the scene. We see Questar. We see natural gas guys walking around. The water company's been here on the site. A lot of activity here, but there were questions as to why there wasn't so much activity just 24 hours ago. Say this suckers coming down. What city manager Barry Edwards told 2 News he thought after seeing a compromised retaining wall on this North Salt Lake hillside. Well, the city knew that there was a problem on this hillside about a week and a half ago. It started to bulge a little bit and uh, we began to take precautionary measures at that point in time. But when pressed about knowing even sooner this land was not secure. We knew that there was a little bit of a problem back in the fall, I mean the spring, and they went up there and, and we relied on geotechs, and they told us what to do, and we did that. We thought at that point the problem was contained. But he says as a precaution, they sent a letter of notice to local homeowners they received at the beginning of this week to begin packing up their things. It was purely a precautionary thing. I mean, we've been through enough of these things to know that if you can get stuff out of the basement, especially on a flood situation, you preserve it. Um, I don't think anybody had any idea that it was going to come down with the force and magnitude that it did. He says even the experts on site Monday had no idea. Even the geologists yesterday and geotechs yesterday didn't predict that one. And as for why there were no emergency crews here this week or public officials until after the slide occurred. This really is uh, a problem that's associated with the developer. And so we've been relying on the developer to, to deal with this. And our goal right now is to save the rest of the property that's up here. And they are making efforts on that part. We're back live at the scene. You see a couple of people standing up above that slide, a pretty dramatic slide when you're standing here in person. You put it in perspective and see all of the homes that are here below that compromised area. Now, just he did mention the developer. A lot of uh, fingers already being pointed, a lot of folks frustrated. I did reach out to Utah Sky Properties, who we believe to be the developer of that area. Unable to reach anyone there for comment, but a very, very busy scene right here where Parkway Drive meets with Eagle Ridge Road in North Salt Lake. A lot of people upset and concerned as they try to start getting their things out, hoping their home isn't next. Ron and Mary. A lot of people are asking why the family whose home is destroyed, they were sleeping in their home this morning. They had well, no right. idea it was that close to Until to neighbors down. knocked on their door. It's really surprising, you know, even when the city manager said he was here last night and saw for himself that bulging retaining wall, he said at that point he really knew this was a serious problem, but he said when people applied, they had scientists, they had geologists saying this was a safe area, he said they never would have let people build in this area had they thought otherwise, but obviously things have certainly changed. They have, and uh, for a long time for a lot of these homeowners, uh, with this now on the record books, uh, books uh, property values likely uh, go down, and so there are all kinds of ramifications to this, right. unfortunately. There are Ron and Mary, and it's a beautiful neighborhood, beautiful. a lot of beautiful homes up here, and uh, obviously the safety, number one, and a lot of folks are driving in really quick, at least on this stretch of road, trying to get their things and get on out. I've seen couches and clothing and beds and books and family portraits all loaded in the back of pickups trucks as they try to get those things out. Stay safe. Just, all right. Just don't know what's going to happen. Thanks all right. so much, Amy. Thanks.